Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. The Nexus One is undoubtedly one of the hottest Android handsets on the market right now, bringing with it some really beefed up specs and a very powerful processor. But it also brought Android 2.1, and I want to show you guys what you can expect from Android 2.1 when it hits your device, uh, whenever that may be, since there are a lot of really cool new features that are found in this update. So let's start with the lock screen, go ahead and unlock the device. On 2.0, you get sort of a round swiping motion. Now you can go right across. You get the same functionality you had with 2.0. You can change the style from ring to vibrate or just unlock if you slide it right across. Well, the first thing you're gonna notice are these crazy new live wallpapers, which is an addition in 2.1. Some of them are interactive, some of them uh, not so much. They just sort of move around and do different things. I did a video on the live wallpapers and showing you all the ones on the devices. Um, but you can see the one right here is a Nexus. And this one responds to my touch. It doesn't add any functionality and probably drains the battery pretty significantly, but it is sort of fun to look at. So the next thing that's really new is this applications button right here. Gone is sort of the old drawer that used to be there and you tap that and you get a very different looking 3D, sort of almost wheel scrolling application folder. You see at the top right there, it looks like they're actually coming out and you scroll back up, it looks like they're rolling back in. Nothing but eye candy, but still kind of neat to see. And a new home button right there that shows up when you're in it. Go ahead and tap home. Also new, five home screens. We've seen multiple and extra home screens added with things like Moto Blur and Sense UI, but this is just native, sort of virgin build of Android 2.1. Now I have five home screens that you can work with. And also you've got these little dots on the bottom that help make it easier to get from home screen to home screen. If you tap them, it pulls up almost a WebOS card looking interface where you can see screenshots of each home screen and you can tap and go to the one that you want to see the most. Kind of neat. Um, another nice addition is the new speech to text, which is found in any area where there's text entry. So whether you're in email or whether you're in text message, I did a full video showing how the speech to text works and it works very well. Anywhere really there's a keyboard you are now gonna have that little microphone so you can see where to go. Also, when you're in your new messages and you tap an icon, you get a new bar that comes up here with contacts, if you wanna message them or Gmail or even map an address. It's sort of a neat little um, feature that's been included with 2.1 and something I haven't seen many people mention. So let's move along here and show you some of the other cool things that this has. Gmail, for example, now supports undo when you label or delete a message, which is quite nice. I accidentally label or delete things all the time. There's now an undo function um, in the built-in Gmail application. Uh, also, Google Voice comes pre-installed, something you could download from the Android Marketplace before, but now it's just sort of on the device. Another really cool thing, and sort of something that takes advantage of the Snapdragon processor, is the new gallery that gets very 3D-ish. So let me show you what that looks like. Go ahead and launch it up here. Go back to the menu, and I'll show you what this looks like. See some 3D animations right there. And it arranges it by day in pictures or video. Hit this little scroll bar at the bottom, you can move and sort of scroll by different days. Let me get rid of that. So pictures I took on the 6th, or pictures I took on the 10th, sort of puts video and pictures in the same thing. So when I was doing a comparison of the camera quality, between the Nexus One and the iPhone 3GS. You can see the pictures in the video that I took to show that. So I can tap on it, view a picture, I can start a slideshow or see the menu options right there. I'll show you some other things that you can do. Video plays just right natively inside. Video of the cat that I use for demonstration purposes. And it now also has landscape mode. Go ahead and turn that up. It'll rotate or scale itself accordingly and very fast, something sort of uh, cool that I've liked about Android 2.1. You're not really getting that much increased functionality, but you are getting a lot of increased sort of um, visual and design cues that make it look a little bit more polished. Um, so let me show you some of the aspects where you are getting some functionality, and that's in the widgets. One of the cool things about Android is that it's widget-based, and you are have a, a few new widget options here. So there are the wallpapers and live wallpapers are in there that we talked about. There are some new widgets as well that are available. So here are some things I've downloaded. But you get a new weather icon, um, new picture frame, um, and just a few other options. You can see some of the programs I have. Probably the most useful new widget is weather and news. So you can see some news will come across right there. It changes it so it's dynamic content if you tap it. So we get a week-long forecast. So I'm in Irvine, California at 70 degrees here. That's quite nice. 
Looks like it's going to uh, going to rain on Monday, but not that big a deal. And if we go back or hit the top there, you can see the top stories and go ahead and scroll through and click on anything that you like and it'll launch the browser. All in all, there's a lot of nice new functionality in Android 2.1 that they look forward to for uh, other Android device owners. So if you've got a Droid or a MyTouch or a Hero or an Eris or a Moment or even a, a G1, whatever device you have, um, ultimately you probably will get 2.1. So it's sort of a sneak preview of what you can expect when it hits your phone. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm John Rettinger and I'll see you in the next video. And for all of your gadget news, be sure to check out technobuffalo.com to create and monetize your own tech blog. Check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.